Hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing my makeup for the day. I'm gonna be headed to the Song Krong Festival, St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> so, just kind of doing a little check in. Oh gosh, like I have a really wide head. Do you see this? Indent. I get that from my glasses, and I get like indents on the side of my face. And like, I got my glasses from Costco. And these were the widest pair, but you know, my head is actually pretty big. <laughs> like it has to stretch. <laughs> Gosh, I have like so many baby hairs. I swear, like I didn't have this many before. <sighs> All of the hair breakage, I'm bleaching my hair. I'm thinking about growing out my hair. The last time I had my hair long was 2019. I had really long hair down to um, all the way to the bottom of my back. But I hated it, man. <laughs> Why am I trying to grow out my hair now? I don't know. Just to kind of like be able to do different things with my hair. I kind of like my short hair too, because it's pretty simple. You straighten it or curl it, and straightening it or curling it doesn't take too long to maintain it. Versus like long hair, it's like a lot of freaking hair you gotta go through. And like, I don't know what I want to do with my hair. Sometimes I hate bleaching my hair. Because it takes so much time, and especially having dark Asian hair, it takes a couple hours to process. And I just started bleaching just the front of my hair because I like the blonde hair, right? I like the blonde look on me and everything. But it's a lot of work to bleach your whole head. <laughs> That's why I just did the frame of my hair. And luckily, that is a, um, a look that's actually going around. So I don't mind what I have now. But yeah, like you see how fast my roots are growing? I just bleached it like two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago, and it's like growing so fast. Uh, I think if you have a lighter color hair, you notice how fast your hair grows. And especially when you have short hair. So I remember back then Back in 2019, when I was trying to grow out my hair, 2018, 2019, I felt like my hair was not growing at all. But now it's like, I wish I can stop my hair from growing so fast. Because sometimes, like even my length right now, I've just been straightening it because it's like so much work to curl it. Now I have to split my hair into three sections and I have to curl each section one at a time. And I hate that. It just takes so long. I, I describe me as a, what is it? Low maintenance, high maintenance. You know how people try to do like, oh, I'm an extrovert introvert or something like that. Yeah, I am a, Low maintenance, high maintenance, or high maintenance, low maintenance. I think it's high maintenance, low maintenance. Like, I like my blonde hair, but I want to do the minimum. I tried doing balayage on my hair, which kind of, like, allows you to have your roots grow in a lot longer, and then you'll have more blonde hair on the bottom. But last time I got it professionally done, this girl ended up just bleaching my whole head, and then she just gave me shadow roots. Which I did not want because then during pandemic, I went really crazy with my bleaching. My hair was so white, it was almost translucent. And from that, when my hair got really, really white, it was just so unrealistic to maintain that you could see the brassiness when I would bleach it. But I didn't want to go in with the second thing of bleach because my the rest of my hair was already really translucent and white. And I was so worried that like all my hair would just come off. So I did what any reasonable person would do. 
and start experimenting with colors. I had red hair and then I had purple hair and then eventually when the purple washes out it leaves you with like a silvery light purple kind of hair color. And then my like roots were growing in so bad and I did not like it. So like any normal person would do, I ended up shaving all of my hair off. <laughs> so that was nice. I wore wigs for a year. And it was nice. I bought a human hair. No, actually I was gifted my human hair wig by my brother. And um, yeah, it was, it was nice. Because then the one thing about wearing wigs is like I was bald underneath. I wasn't like shaved bald, but I had like a buzz haircut. I think that's what they call it. Where you just like have an inch of hair. Because I needed my wig to still be able to grip on something, right? There's like a bunch of products and stuff like that that I could use. But I have really sensitive skin, so I did not install my wig. I had it where I could remove it, take it on and off every night, which was so convenient because my hair underneath, of course, I had really, really short hair underneath. All I had to do was put like the um, hair wax and then, um, and then my wig would be able to grip onto my hair, right? And with that, I was able to just kind of like leave it be and just throw on a wig. And the wig, you only need to wash it once or twice a month and style it after you wash it. So, so convenient. Getting ready for work. I used to do like full face. Like when I say full face, like eyeshadow and everything. Like I do do a full face every single day. But I like to um, do eyeshadow, of course. I like to do colorful eyeshadow. But eventually, like, when my normal hair started growing in, I had to do my hair too and do my makeup. That's a lot of freaking work in the morning. So I ended up just, like, I do my, my really casual look where I just do eyelashes, eyeliner, and then my, my face, right? Eventually stopped doing a glam eyeshadow look to work when my normal hair grew back in. When it grew back in, I really contemplated about, should I just continue this, keep wearing a wig, cause it's super low maintenance. And when you have blonde hair and you go get it professionally done, luckily I have, uh, I maintained short hair for a long time, that it would only cost me like $250, $300 to get my hair professionally done. And I was really contemplating it because, oh, human hair wig for 10 inches is only like $150. And that lasts for a whole year. Versus getting your hair done, you have to get it done every three to four months. And it's going to cost you $250 to $300. Like, price comparison? It was so much cheaper to just maintain a wig. And I had a lot more time to get ready in the mornings. So I was really contemplating about just like shaving my hair off again and just continuously wearing wigs. Cause like I have really thick hair. It was not realistic to just tie it up and then put on a wig. So I contemplated it a lot. Like honestly, kind of losing sleep over it. I know it's ridiculous. It's just freaking hair. But eventually I just made the decision forget it I'm just gonna grow out my hair because then I like it during the summertime I can go into pools and stuff like that with my regular hair but with a wig I couldn't you know even though I had short hair really short hair I had like a pixie cut then during the summertime I would uh this was in 2021 so just not too long ago I would just take off my wig and have my pixie cut and, and go like that. I didn't mind because to me it was just kind of like this is me. But it was really nice to just have a wig on and not have to worry about my regular hair. Like it was like the first time in a long time since I had my virgin hair. So I started dyeing and bleaching my hair in 2000... 
2016, I think. 2016 or 17. So like uh, when I had my long hair, I had auburn hair. Um, okay, I need to hurry this up because I'm actually trying to do my makeup in between doing my laundry. And my laundry is almost ready. I've been really into just like doing the ends of my eyebrow and then going in and using this thing to fluff up my eyebrows. See the difference? <laughs> I'm going in with the Kenji Beauty 35 Colors Create Your Masterpiece Eyeshadow Palette. As you can see, I love, 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 love the chunky glitters. This rare beauty stuff is super pigmented. Like me, one dot goes a long way. Sometimes I use those filters where they like do the full glam makeup and everything and then they give you a nose bridge. <laughs> it's so freaking weird to see me with a nose bridge. It's so funny. Like I honestly love my button nose. I think it's so freaking cute. My daughter is half Hispanic and half mom and it's so cute because she has a button nose just like me. When you see her at first glance, Many people just think she's just Hispanic. She doesn't look Asian at all. My daughter gets really sad that I don't shout her out in my videos. So shout out to you, baby. I see you. I'm gonna set my face before I do my eyeshadow. Okay, I'm trying to do this quickly as I can. I've been just into doing a more neutral look. When I say neutral, like browns, but I'm still gonna do like a glam. <laughs> last night I knocked out so good, like went out with my sisters last night. I don't drink, but I was just like, I stayed up until like almost two in the morning, took a shower and everything. And then I was like, I just knocked out. I, I didn't even realize I fell asleep. That's how well I fell asleep last night with my glasses on and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn off my curler and come back to do it. This is my makeup look. This is the look for today. I still gotta do my hair, but <laughs> I need to do this later. We finally made it out to the Song Krong Festival. We got our food pretty quickly and we were just picnicking it out. Here is the, I think this is barbecue pork or beef? I think it's pork. This is really good. Really tender, really soft, not super chewy. The flavors are really strong. Mm -hmm. The hard papaya is Asian spicy. I get that kick, and it's like back of your throat kind of spice. And that's so cute. There's an egg in there. My favorite. So far, it's probably the barbecue pork and the pie. Of course, you can't go wrong with sticky rice. Mm -mm -mm. Here's the chicken satay. I'm gonna try without the sauce first. 
you know, I've tried a lot of different chicken satays, and I think it's the flavoring that they use. I don't think I care for the seasoning. I'm not a big fan of it. But, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the seasoning. I'll probably pass on it. <laughs> We had a great time at the Song Krong Festival. Lots of people, lots of good food. It was really great. Can't wait to go again next year.